Hey guys, what's on? Going on? It's Brennan, and um, this is quick tip number one. Really not that quick, but we take a couple minutes. But anyways, I'm gonna do a bunch of tutorials like these with quick tips on how to make your site better, load faster, maybe even just teach you how to code sites in general. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to um make a really versatile logo that you can use anywhere on your site without doing a bunch of image links and stuff like that. So it'll make it maybe load a bit faster, etc. First off, we're going to start with our basic HTML template with our logos and everything. I better update that live preview there. And we're going to see that it really has just nothing but the style sheet linked in a title. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start off by making an H1 with a class of logo. And in here, we're going to have our logo here. I really hate how that shows up though. And what we're going to do with this class of logo is we're going to change it so the text goes way off screen and only the logo shows up, which makes it easy so then anywhere on your screen you can just put H1 class logo and your logo will show up. It makes it a lot easier for placing your logo in different places. So right now, we're in our style.css, so we're just going to style the body a bit. So make the background a nice color. Sorry about that. We'll make the background a nice color here and maybe like a nice off red color and we will make a class for a logo and to declare a class you're going to use a period and if you use an ID which you probably shouldn't I'd prefer using the class you do it with the number sign which is the pound I guess so we're going to do in here is to make our text throw way off screen we're going to do a text indent of negative nine 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 px just for the hell of it so that's going to throw it way way off screen to the left which is basically never going to be seen there if you have like one some thousand inch tv or something you might be able to see it but that'll throw it way off screen so now what we're going to do is we're going to include a logo into this so we're going to make a background and we're going to url and since i haven't put anything in folders here it's just going to be in the main thing so i can just do logo.png and then close that up. So as you can see, the logo shows up, which is really good, right? But what we need to do now is we need to expand the size of it. So I believe the size of this logo is 960 by 148. So not, oh, oh, I hope if we did width 960 px by height 148 px. So as you can see, your logo shows up nice and perfect there. So now the good thing about this is what we can do is we can have it in multiple places. So once we have all our stuff here, we can just we can put our logo in here also. So h1 class equals logo logo here. That will do is show our logo up again. And then it makes it a lot easier for showing up your logo instead of constantly have to making images and stuff like that. All you have to do is make an HTML, uh, I mean an H1. And you don't even have to put that, you just put the letter L and it'll work. So it's a really great way of doing it. And um, whoops. And it really makes things a lot easier. So um, have fun, guys. See you later. And you can leave a comment below for what you want in the next tutorial. All right, guys. Bye bye now.